Hello YouTube and welcome to Destination Lego and welcome to this Lego movie set review. So today we have set 70807 and this is Metal Beard's Jewel and this is a very complicated set is probably the best way to put it. This is overloaded with weird features and for those that you have seen the film you will understand why. So this is for ages 8 to 14, it has a piece count of 412 pieces and it retails here in the United Kingdom for £29.99, that's from the Lego store or the Lego store online. So we can see the full set in front of us now and this comes with the micromanager here on the left. We obviously have Metal Beard himself over here. And then we have the three minifigures down at the bottom, which are obviously the Skeleton, Robo Swat, and Frank the Foreman. So let's take a closer look at those minifigures first. So here are our three minifigures, and we're going to start by taking a 360 view at all three together. And back round to the front, so obviously the skeleton here, basic uh, minifigure, some pretty cool print into his head. Uh, if we then move over to the Robo SWAT, and we can see he comes with the large kind of blaster rifle gun there. He has this helmet on. Can you see this? We just remove that helmet. So we can see a bit of a better look at that face printing and it is single sided and finally Frank the Foreman he obviously comes with this red helmet if we just remove that bit of a better look at some of that face printing there and again that is a single sided face so there we go that's our three minifigures so next up we have our micro manager and it is quite a large micro manager again if we just put that minifigure down there you can see the scale next to the minifigure and um, pretty cool pretty awesome and uh, we can see the arms here these are fully adjustable you can click those into multiple positions um, and obviously the little claw pieces on the ends there and again with the legs these can be adjusted like so just by clicking around so very well um, very good for putting in different positions very poseable Again, bringing that round, so up on the top here, we have the compartment here, which just simply lifts back like so. I'll show you inside there. There is a place there where our Robo SWAT cop can go, so let's just let's grab hold of him. Let's remove his gun and put him inside. him down inside there you can be seated in there so now we've got our little robo swat in there now controlling the micro manager um, and so our main feature on this we have some flick fire missiles which are folded in there at the moment so I'll try and grab these out and uh, you can see folding down there to the side and again we have another one here which again we can just fold down to the side so we can see those are both out now um, and again they are flick fire so we can just push that and obviously it will shoot out like so and just put that back into position so there we go so that is our micro manager so next up we have metal beard himself and like i said this is complicated <laughs> and i mean that in a good way um but it's just a uh, I don't know, an awesome, very complicated, and whoever came up with this design um, obviously has a uh, strange mind, let's put it that way. Um, but yeah, it's like, where do you start with this set? So, again, fully posable on ball joints, you know, these can be moved into multiple positions. So, we have the hand here, again, these fingers can be moved so we can grab hold of if we want to do so. Let's put it in there. Um, a minifigure, so we can see that there now um, being holding kind of that claw like 
um, grip um, which we can see there so as we're zoomed in we also have a shark on that arm so we don't just have to rely on the hand although the hand can feed the shark um, so again the shark's mouth can be opened up and if we wanted to do so we can put our minifigure um, in the shark's mouth there now so now he's being eaten by the shark just take the minifigure out so um, just knock that off so while I've got that off actually let's just, just clip onto his back and we have this large sword and I'll show you where that clips on in a second um, but now that we've got it out again we can put that into that hand so we can now see um, the sword being held um, in position I will just show you let's just go around to the rear and up the top here we have a clip which you should see now um, and that just simply clips the sword onto his back um, like so so that can uh, be held in position there um, again as we're moving around to the rear we have this anchor um, on his false leg there false leg I say it's obviously all false but you know what I mean um, that can just be pulled off and it's on a chain so there we can see that now loose on that chain and again and it can also be clipped back on into position there so this wheel here um, again that can spin the grey pieces here are for the two cannons which we can see there on that arm so these can be fired so if we take one of those off well, let's just spin this around and move this arm up a little bit better like so um, and the cannon piece just simply goes down inside which you can see that there now and if we just zoom that out spin it round and for those of you that are aware these just uh, flick back at the very end pieces here you just simply pull back and it will fire so I'll try and do that now uh, with this one so pull back and fire and it fires out um, obviously of that cannon okay so yeah there we have the two cannon pieces there if we just pull that zoom that out again at the top here we have the flags at the very top there we do have a parrot at the very top you can see him there we have this chimney piece here with a smoke coming out of top and these are obviously all part of the design of uh, metal beard himself and in fact if we zoom in on metal beard there we go there we can get to see metal beard himself there now with his pirate's hat on while we're in this position here we have this little chest here kind of hidden away um, i'll try to open that up there we go we open that up just tilt that forward and you can see in there there is a bone and a uh, sausage in there so that's obviously his uh, food and all the remains of with the bone bone um, and again that can be closed up like so lots of design features like we have these chains here all adding to the design of metal beard obviously himself um, and again this is just full of features it's just every time i look i find something so down here we have a little gun um, that's on a clip so that can come off that gun there okay so let's just continue to spin them around while we're zooming in you get to see how this looks I'm um, looking at the feet area and the legs area now you can see how these are made up a barrel there okay and then just bringing him back in okay so I think I've covered all of the features there um, but there are a lot of them like I said a bit of a complicated set but in a good way um, so that is metal beard Okay, so there we go. That is my review of Metal Beard's Jewel Completed Set 70807. Hopefully you did enjoy this review. There was a lot to cover because of the functions and features, particularly in Metal Beard, and hopefully I managed to cover them all. Um, if I didn't, my apologies. Um, 
I said give it that big thumbs up guys let me know you did enjoy it any comments questions feedback always welcome down in the comments section and if you haven't done so already please do go and subscribe to my channel destination lego and i look forward to seeing you all in the next video cheers